The celebrations continued under the Gabba lights on Friday night. North Melbourne in town. Alistair Lynch kicked early goals for the Bears as North slipped slightly ahead. It was a welcome return for Lynch after his successful fight back against the debilitating chronic fatigue syndrome. And a free kick is going to Brisbane. Is the advantage going to be paid? Yes. They get the ball to full forward. A good lead. A brilliant kick. The chance to kick his second goal. He's kicking from uh, about 45 metres out. It's close. The goal umpire indicating a goal. Kicks it in the direction of champion. He marks. He's got McAdam running in support, but he ignores him and then goes straight towards full forward. He's got it again. Justin Lepich. And he looks as, as though he means business. Two goals so far. He hasn't been on the ground all that long. Kicking from 50 metres. Gets terrific distance. It's a magnificent kick. It's his third goal. High kick by Scott. Oh, what a leap by Daryl White. About fifth in line. Short pass. Looks for Lepic. G's playing fierce. Dion Scott goes in. Kicks across his body. Oh, can this goal umpire pick this? I'd say it's a goal. Have a look at it. It's there. Dion Scott. Lepic does well. Half. Kick smothered off the boot. Archer. Daryl White to the square, Lepic. Has he kicked his fourth? He may have. He has. Laidley short danger. Clark at the back. Well done by Fairley. Clark probably should have done better. Lapman pushes it to Lambert. Lambert could finish it off. It looks good. It's there. Bears back in business. Should have been a free kick to the Bears. Lambert out wide. Gets to Kennedy. Now straightens the body. Goes long to full forward. Lepic beat fly. Short half round the body. Akamano scores! Clark gets it to Kennedy. Kennedy's kick to the goal square. Not quite. Lepic. Sean Hart unselfishly gives it to White, and White's got the goal. Three points the margin. Champions kick is not bad. A little bit of misunderstanding here between Ashcroft and Lappin. But Lappin takes it from Ashcroft into the pocket. It's beautifully weighted, and it's been marked by Fletcher. In the words of one of our, one of our fellow commentators, centimetre perfect. Fletcher from the boundary line. Kicks close. It's a mark or a goal. It's a, it's a goal, I'd say. Hey, Chapman off the ground. Lappin hard at it. They missed it. Now Hart. That's a good gift to Lappin. Enter Justin Lepich. A career best six goals sank Horses north. To the pocket. Lepich back there. Oh, what a take. Plays on. And kicks his fifth. Advantage paid. Chris Scott, Akamanis in trouble. Quickly Down by a kick at half-time, the Bears were five points up at the last change. And then cruised away to a 30-point win in the final turn. Voss, best of field again. Quite memorable, that win. We had a, another packed house, I think, and, um, you know, north of the glamour side of the competition, as we all know now, and um, we, we were pretty built up for that, and the crowd pumped us up, got behind us, and... The team seemed to lift it. I knew that we wouldn't play the same as what we get it, did against Richmond. Um, it was only a matter of time before we sort of got ourselves on track and uh, we showed that uh, we could still match it with the best. Certainly will end North Melbourne's chances. Akamanis goes in and gets his second. Fitzroy's last visit to the Gabba in their own entity was a one-sided rump for the Bears. An eight-goal second term blew the game wide open, and from then on, Brisbane was 